instructions in the back. Protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to corner, gentlemen. Moment of truth. He strip. They have up to 36. And what I mean back up, he's using his angles. He's moving side to side, not staying on the ropes to make a mistake because whoever does make the mistake is going to pay dearly. And there's that hand speed. Garcia putting the pressure on Davis. Landing the right and left, and Davis trying to hold on. The muscle ropes. Now, one thing Garcia's Ooh, good at. Is. And of course, against the Dodge fighter is a southpaw. You bait going downstairs, go up. And right now, it's neutral. It's really neutral. No one really trying to put their foot. Doesn't be careful. He was looking at the referee. You got to protect yourselves at all times. And he's on, he just got beneath that left hook. But got oh. oh! What a shot! What a missile strike! Hey, hey, hey. And just Power punches, punches landed in the first three minutes. Ooh. And, it, and it, it, Garcia's the first one to try to land power punches, and, and he's doing that fairly well. And boy, they're holding on the inside. Davis lunging him again with that left through the guard, left hook by Garcia. And again, Davis beginning to feel the trauma already in Sin City after a slow start in round one. Javon fighters. A more aggressive second round for Garcia, and of course, he would like to make something as adversary. Where online they they say that Garcia had to take advantage of Davis's slow starts. With Avante Davis drops Ryan Garcia for the second time in his career here in the second. Yeah, was open to it. He got off balance, got hit. Straight, he's had his head up high like he normally does, and guess what? He pick up from Garcia. Let's see if Garcia what he does with his right hand and why that left hand is there through a left hook. See some yeah. few shots, but Javante Davis came in with that beautiful overhand left. And one important. And we've seen in the past where Ryan Garcia has a mm -hmm. Yeah, he pulls straight back like he's doing right now. You don't want to do that. A nightmare scenario. Just feel laid back more, and they wanted to fight taller. And there, Davis with the lead foot to the outside of Garcia. Lock. Yeah, he didn't overcommit it. He he fainted. He didn't see anything. He didn't take it, and then he took it because he saw it. So that's that's how you do. These guys are are jabs, but the jabs will help them set up yes. the power punch. There's a straight right by Garcia. Good round for Javante Davis. You heard Joe Goosen letting Garcia know that Davis is looking for that left uppercut. He left fainting by Davis and able to pull counter like Floyd Mason. Davis continues to win the foot battle. Keeping Mark left, and there it is. Trying to create an angle. Tank Davis is really... And the way this fight is being fought, the Garcia left hook is not a factor right now. Again, to look at it, that's pretty good that he can land that lead left yeah. without it, having to. Davis getting the left hand in again as Garcia came in. That was a lead left. And you see Garcia. Sorry, Davis. There's the right hand from Garcia. But a lot more, and they asked for that. And the right hand is lethal for the for the softball. Oh, see, now, there was an attempt at a hook. Child. And yes, known for his explosive power and knockouts, but he has the door to box. Oh, right hand by Garcia inside at the end of the fourth. And of course, if you're Ryan Garcia, you still believe that you can turn this seat. That he was going to knock out Ryan Garcia. Really good job of boxing right now. This is boxing. Look at the angles. Look at he's, he's placing his foot where he wants to. He lets go of, let go of his hands when he... Garcia has not been jabbing as much as yeah. keeping his right hand high against Luke Campbell. That wasn't the case. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the case, and he was getting every time. He was Here is Davis. He will try to go downstairs. There he is, that partially blocked, but there he goes with the right hook that does get in. There is that left hook that landed. That one just missed, but Garcia shows up as Davis landed. And Calvin Ford has done an exceptional job with your 12 rounds in this mega main event. <laughs> Round number six, Davis. To keep him sharp, so far things are working out very well for him. Remember, he falls. There's a right hand that caught oh, Davis. Yeah. Another right hand. Showing him that, he, you know, you're not in the fight. 
Oh, and just missed with that sweeping left. Was in a fight in January against Hector Luis Garcia. Garcia forego, decided to forego a fight. Thank you very much. Yeah, and you know, those right hands Garcia landed were good ones, and Davis yeah. not moving. Don't forget, Davis did say, I don't want to knock him out. I want to punish Ryan Garcia. I'm not saying that he's punishing him. Right knock him out. He wants him to punish him, but Davis yeah. said he was going to stop him in their seventh or eighth, and we're away. Yeah, he don't want to be caught in the position at the moment, and he said, no, I got to throw my own punches, make you feel uncomfortable. Lead right hook. He needs you. 45 seconds left. Garcia coming close. And in, a, in these rounds with low output and not that many punches landed, the difference is which punch example you have to decide. Davis and Garcia. Very close round in round six. He... he Throws this right hand, Davis keeping his left hand very low, and that right and hand. Here, let's look at the same one as Garcia gets that right hand in. It wasn't the perfect right hand by yes. Garcia. He knows the left hook isn't getting there, and Joe Goosen told me. Straight Ooh. left hand lands. For that because, because that. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. He didn't see that, yeah. Garcia's. Alicia on there, Garcia. But it was one of the few left hooks he's been able to get in. Right hand by Garcia. And now, oh, Garcia forced to take a knee. Didn't look like he was even positioned, Davis, to get a lot of leverage on that left hand. Oh. And, but he got more than enough in and this fight. There it is, the straight left hand down. It was hard to see, but at this juncture, Ryan Garcia just couldn't sustain. Yeah. Much like Garcia's promoter, Oscar De La Hoya. Great late reaction from Ryan Garcia. It didn't look like he was even positioned, Davis, to get a lot of leverage on that left hand. Oh. And, but he got more than enough. And, and one was going to make a difference. It was more thought to be Garcia that might do it. But it was, in fact, Javante Davis. And as you pointed out, Morrow, this fight. There it is, the straight left hand down. It was hard to see, but at this juncture, Ryan Garcia just couldn't sustain yeah. from it. We're going to see the, the quick reaction from Tank Davis. Boom, well timed, right. right His right leg reaction, his body, body shutting down. He just took a knee. And I think he thought.